सो हाई डियर टॉरस अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द टॉरस सन मून मीनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जर्नल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यू एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकंड थिंग द रोल्स कैन बी रिवर्स ऑल्सो थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम एट टिल द फोर्टींथ ऑफ मे सो लेट स्टार्ट योर पार्टनर्स कन फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर लेट सी वट इज हैपनिंग योर पार्टनर्स कन फीलिंग्स फॉर यू राइट नाउ आर Give me a second. <clears throat> We got the nine of swords and the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is not able to see the clear picture of the situation between you and them, and somebody is not able to make up their mind about the situation regarding the situation between you and them. Okay, it could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you. But right now, because we are talking about your person, this is somebody who is very very stressed out. They are not able to sleep at night thinking about the situation, thinking about this connection, this relationship between you and them. Okay, sleepless night, anxiety, stress. These kind of energies are going on from this person's side. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who might be dealing with. Even if you are not, just go with the energies, not with the uh, signs only. Let's see what is happening. Let's clarify the nine of swords. We got the Temperance, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, somebody is very, very patient. Somebody is very on, like uh, not on and off. Somebody is kind of feeling. uh like uh, you are cutting them out of your life and this is stressing them out like hell somebody is very very patient with this situation from a very long time either this person is behaving like they don't care about you and they are being very patient with the situation and they feel like okay some day they are going to get out of it but it is very difficult for this person to get out of this that much easily so somebody is constantly thinking about you taurus constantly thinking about you constantly thinking about the situation somebody is feeling like they are bounded by the situation and no matter how hard they are trying to let go of this situation let go of you they are not able to do that they are in some kind of mental jail oh my god what is happening gemini libra aquarius energy or sagittarius even if uh, you are not connected with these signs just go with the energies not with the signs only because it's not a science specific reading okay just give me a second something is wrong with my hair today yeah now it's fine right now it's fine <laughs> god <laughs> let's see what do you feel about this person or this situation right now taurus what are your feelings for them let's see honey what is your feelings for them four of wands and the five of cups somebody who like uh, made you feel left out somebody who was treating you as an option kind of it deeply deeply hurted you on a very deeper kind of level okay it could be you treating somebody as an option but uh, because we are talking about your feelings you are feeling uh, very very uh, uh, sad and depressed because of a particular situation they gave you a lot of pain cancer pisces scorpio might be dealing with you feel like uh, you should go ahead towards something or someone who is going to provide you this happily ever after kind of energy this energy of stability long term partnership or commitment or this like or uh, this in some cases you are uh, moving on towards a totally new person or new energy not willing to go back to the same person or it could be possible that your person is getting married to somebody else and kind of you are kind of sad about this very much possible Let's clarify the four of wands. Eight is your Sagittarius energy. Ten of cups, seven of pentacles, four of pentacles. So, uh, Taurus, this is the, what is happening here. You are like you are desperately waiting for some kind of uh, uh, like um, marriage commitment or long term partnership kind of energy. In some cases, with the past person. In some cases, in general, in your life, you are waiting for the right person so that they can come towards you with this stability, with long term partnership commitment and a family kind of energy. but you are in this energy of let's keep all this thing to myself let's uh, not uh, express this to anybody let's not um, uh, say anything about it to anyone let's keep it to myself let's keep in uh, keep uh, it within myself this is what you are feeling holding back not even trying to you know say or express these feelings of yours of having a long term partnership or commitment or something like this with anyone uh, to anybody just keeping it to yourself So right now you are in this energy of okay the past gave me a lot of pain this time I'm going to choose with a lot of patience and uh, this time I'm not going to reveal my true feelings to anybody just like that I'm going to give it a lot of time and space You could be dealing with another Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn Cancer Pisces Scorpio Aries Leo Sagittarius Let's see what this person wants from you Taurus what are their intentions for the situation We got the six of wands and the queen of wands. Somebody is trying to manifest success and victory in this connection between you and them. 
somebody wants to make things successful and victorious between you uh, like uh, in this situation in some cases this person wants to manifest marriage commitment long term partnership with you whatever the case may be somebody is trying to manifest this connection back in their life between you and them let's clarify the six of wands We have the nine of wands and the six of cups, ace of swords. Hmm. Okay. Somebody who gave up on this connection in the past and somebody who hurted you very deeply and they themselves got hurt in the situation. They want to give it at least a last shot. Somebody is getting a lot of clarity and truth about the situation, about the feelings that they carry for the situation. It is a person that you had a history with. It could be six months, it could be six years, it could be like uh, for some of you, it could be six weeks hi history only. But this is somebody from your past who gave up on you, who gave up on the situation. Now they are gaining some kind of truth and clarity and honesty about the situation. And then, and now they want some kind of successful and victorious kind of connection with you. This person wants to start all over again with you with, with lots of honesty and truthfulness. Because this is giving them a lot of pain that you are walking away, you are doing your own shit and they are not even able to connect with you or you are kind of unreachable. For this person and they are not able to take it positively. Gemini Libra Aquarius who could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Even if you are not just go with the energies not with the signs only. Let's see what do you want from this person or the situation right now. What are your intentions in the situation. Hmm? Just give me a second. The moon card. Eight of cups. Okay. You just want to walk away from this. Taurus. I don't think you are uh, any longer interested in something that's not giving you the happiness that you deserve. That's uh, not giving you the happy ever after kind of energy, okay? You just want to come out of this uh, unknown fear kind of energy, this uh, uh, always being in fear, always being in this energy of where I stand this con in, in this connection. You just want to come out of this uh, bad luck kind of energy in your love life, okay? Could be dealing with the Pisces here. Let's clarify the moon. You don't want to be, you don't want to repeat the same cycle again with this particular person. Wow. The magician, seven of cups and ten of swords. Yeah. See, you want to be emotionally very, very stable and mature in your energies. Okay, Taurus. So you just want to manifest to end any kind of confusion regarding the situation between you and this particular person. You were living in some kind of confusion till now in your life and you are manifesting that this, like uh, this residual energy of confusion, this little bit of confusion should also end. You don't want this uh, situation back in your life. You don't want this confusing kind of energy and this... Uh, always being living in the fear kind of energy back in your life all you want is to put an end to this particular situation and manifest a good life a good chapter a good relationship hmm. this is what you want and you want to walk away from this uh, all this shitty things so all this confusing kind of energies and uh, all this uh, mm, fearful kind of energy and secretive mysterious kind of energies no longer want to be a part of this so i think you are coming out of it completely and somebody is sulking now somebody wants you back and they are very very clear that they, they want you back and they want to give it a like tough fight this time. What the hell is happening here? Wow. So in some cases Taurus it might be possible that you were chasing somebody in the past and now somebody wants to go, come back to you. Although I don't see this person chasing you running behind you, behind you like crazy but uh, they want to come towards you and start from scratch. Hmm. Okay let's see what's coming towards you till the 14th of May. What's on the cards? What's on the way for you? We got the world card, okay, and the fool card. Completion of a cycle and starting of a new chapter in your life, brand new chapter in your life. Completion of a cycle. Somebody, something is going to be finished. Something is going to be completely done in your life. Okay, let's clarify the world card. In some cases, you will be traveling and you will be going uh, like far away from this person and that is where this uh, chapter is ending between you guys. Let's clarify this world card. We have the ten of pentacles, the four of wands and queen of cups. Wow. So, okay. I do see that you are going to end one chapter of your life and you are going to start a brand new chapter of your life. Uh, somebody is going to come towards you with commitment, marriage and with this loving and caring energy and you are going to heal a lot because of that. In some cases, you are completing or you are finishing a cycle with a particular person or situation. Even if it was energetically you were connected to somebody, finally you will be letting go of a particular person or situation and you will be heading towards prosperity, abundance and uh, your overall stability in your life and taking care of yourself like a queen. 
okay in some cases you will be attracting a particular person a new person a new energy a new soulmate towards you that's going to give you a lot of happiness from inside and finally you are going to feel content with your energy that okay finally i found it finally i found the right person for me finally i found the right soulmate for me hmm? So take it how it resonates with you. If you already have a new person in your energies, I do see that uh, situation with that new person is going to enhance and it's going to convert into something very deeper and meaningful with time. If you don't have anybody right now in your life, a new or newish person or newish energy, I do see somebody uh, adding up in your life and that has the potential to become something huge in the future. In some cases, you are, if you're in this energy of, okay, I don't want a new person or new energy as of now in my life, you will be... Uh, heading towards lots of prosperity and success and your overall stability and you will be enjoying life you will be uh, having fun with lots of people around you and you will be taking care of yourself like a queen so take the outcome as it resonates with you because it depends on the various situations you are in right now currently but whatever this is this is going to be a brand new chapter of your life leap of faith take the take the leap of faith and the universe is going to bless you with beautiful energies around you taurus very good so the traveling card is actually I am traveling. Okay, this is a, a very very good like a, um, matching resonating reading for me today. I am traveling. I am going going out of India and I will be very very far away from a particular energy. So it uh, is resonating to me one hundred percent today. So let's clarify. Uh, let's see what is the guidance for you people in this situation, Taurus. We got. The tower, the nine of cups and the emperor card. So the tower moment happened. The tower moment happened in your life because it was supposed to happen the, exactly the way it happened. Okay. Okay. Because the universe wants to show you that you can be happy without this particular person or energy. You don't have to, to be dependent on anything or anyone to be happy in your life. Happiness is a state. Happiness is not a, a situation or happiness is not a dependent kind of energy that uh, if, uh, if that is going to happen, then I will be happy. If this person is going to be with me, then I will be happy. If I will be hundred uh, help, having a, a, like a million uh, uh, like dollars in my uh, account, then I will be happy. So happiness is the, just the state. Universe is going to tell you after this breakup, separation, after this tower moment, the moment you are going to take your power back from other people or other situations to make you happy, you are going to be exactly very, very happy. That is the moment that is going to make you happy from within. Okay. Again, happiness is a state. Happiness is a choice. Hmm? It's not something that's going to come after that will happen. After that will happen till that. Okay. Let me sulk. Let me cry till then. Nope. It's a state that you can be happy at this right now, right now at this present moment. And uh, you can inculcate this, uh, you know, energy of being happy with or without anybody. Detachment kind of energy and having happiness kind of energy from within yourself like a kid. When you see a kid, they don't have fear. They don't fear anything. Okay. Slowly but surely they start fearing. Hmm? But when you see a kid, uh, they go towards electricity board and they like put their finger in that. They do everything that they want to do. They, they try to catch the butterfly. They don't fear anything. Right. And that's why they are happy because they don't need anybody. That energy we should follow throughout our life. It is very, very difficult because of our logical mind, our ego mind start taking over this. But anyway, that is the only thing, that is the only solution to live a life of happiness, bliss. Live like a kid who don't have, uh, who don't even know what fear is, what rejection is, what pain is. Until unless we, we, like adult human, tell them what that is, what that is, what that is. Hmm? So thank you so much for tuning in Taurus. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.